Hi, I'm Dr. Peter Edelstein, Chief Medical Officer at Elsevier. We're here at HIMSS Asia Pacific 2015, and we're with the winners of, of the ICT Achievement Award, which is a big deal. I'm here with a whole team from St. Stephen's. Well, first of all, team, congratulations. This is a big deal award, and it's, it's a project we're going to talk about in a minute. But we should also mention that you are HIMSS Emeron Stage 6, the first hospital in Australia to achieve that designation. So you're on a roll here. Yeah, we're well, like winning award after award. And we're really proud of it, too. Well, you should be. Yeah, These absolutely. are big deal. And, and so why don't you guys tell me a bit about this groundbreaking uh, project? Then? Absolutely. Well, we're a group of four private hospitals, of which uh, St. Stephen's is one and we got a grant from the federal government to set up this hospital as the first fully digital hospital in the country. And since we opened in October last year, we've had uh, the, almost all the major public and private hospital operators from Australia come and look at the hospital because it's a pilot for the country and it's, it's, it's reignited the interest in Australia for fully digital health. Well, I remember in reading the submission, and there were so many good submissions, but when I read yours, honestly, it was not only is this a model for Australia, this is a model for how to do healthcare worldwide if you have the opportunity to build a new hospital. Um, so did you feel like you achieved your goals pretty quickly? Because to me that timeline is pretty impressive. Yeah, it was. It was a very tight time frame and a lot of people wondered whether we could do it. But we damn well did do it. You and, did? Uh, and uh, we did that through an incredibly strong team engagement of which we've got three of these key team members with us today. We had strong engagement within our whole group. We employed uh, about 4,000 people. And we engaged most particularly really strongly with our doctors. So when it came time to switch it on, on the 13th of October last year, we had the doctors actually owning the system along with our nurses That's and our awesome. allied health staff and our administrative staff. And it has been a really great success story. And it's all about the way in which we implement it. It's a CERNA system, it works well, but it's the way in which you go about the change management of implementation that's so fundamentally critical. That's and right. it's uh, been a great success. This clinical transformation was really important to us. Right. Um, we took the time, as some projects don't, at about seven months, and engaged the best and the brightest from across the system to really look at what's best practice and actually embed that then into our computer system. So just as important as the technology, was making sure there's broad ownership, mm. right? Because it sounds to me like, yes, you have the technology, but what you're saying is critical mm. was making sure everyone felt like they were part of it, had a say in it, so no one was fighting you every step of the way. I've spoken at a lot of meetings around the country, of course, given this is the first for the country. And the key point I make is that this is not an IT implementation well project, it's a change management piece. Right. And for a change management piece, it must be led by the CEO. So I was very upfront and uh, promoted it and led it very strongly, and I think that's one of the keys. It's, it's IT enabled, but it's CEO enabled. I think that's a brilliant approach. Now even in this success, there were probably some bumps that you learned from, so for the next venture, what's one of the things that comes to mind that you might do a little differently next time? Well, we're, we're in the process of now enabling our other three hospitals through, uh, we're spending about 11 or 12 million dollars just to get the communication systems and the, and the cabling up to speed. And one of the issues that we learned was the need to train more super users and get the get the ability to roll it out more quickly, especially in larger facilities. That makes sense. Now part of our award is around the area of ROI, return on investment, and this was a big investment. Give us an idea where you see the ROI now or in the future in terms of the financial impact of this kind of hospital. Well the benefits realisation study we're doing is, a, is quite an extensive one. We're doing it uh, through our uh, academic research institute that's part of our organisation. And we're also involving PricewaterhouseCoopers from the financial assessment perspective who can give some benchmarks around the world. So we've identified a number of criteria, not just in dollars, but in quality outcome perspective and in patient and family and doctor satisfaction and in workplace health and safety. Nice. And we're running through a series of those assessments which we're currently undertaking in order to get a final outcome in about 12 months' time after we've had a fairly extensive period of operating. We're already seeing some benefits in areas such as ele electronic medication. So we're seeing reductions already in medication errors. We're seeing improvements in efficiency and reductions in cost of, of pharmaceuticals. 
and significant improvements in uh, medication administration um, and also improvements in theatre throughput as a result of that. Well, again, congratulations. We are thrilled that you won this. It's well-deserved. It's going to be exciting to watch what you do as you move forward. I think you actually are a role model, not just in Australia, but, but worldwide, as well as just some very nice people. I <laughs> so again, congratulations, Thank and thanks much. for spending a few minutes with us. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really.